Hi, I'm Lauren, and this is Brain Stuff. Imagine for a minute that you're a pregnant woman. Still with me, guys? Okay, now in this scenario, the only way you can give birth is if you crawl into a small cave made out of chocolate. And the tunnel to this cave is so cramped that the only way you can get through is by cutting off your own arms 127 hours style. But once you're in this cave, then you can actually give birth and then die from either exhaustion or starvation. Now, this all sounds pretty grim, as if giving birth wasn't difficult enough, but what I just described is the life cycle of the fig wasp. Their role in the pollination of figs is crucial, both to the propagation of their species and to the survival of the fig trees. This arrangement between wasp and plant is called mutualism, and it's evolved over millions of years. Without the wasps, you wouldn't have figs, and vice versa. And yes, this means that most of the figs we eat contain at least one dead wasp. But more on that later. First, let's talk about pollination. The fig is technically just a flower with its petals folded inside. Now there are male figs, which are inedible and called capra figs, and female figs, which are the ones that we eat. But in order to create seeds and tasty tasty fruit, the female figs need to receive some pollen from the male figs. Since the figs' reproductive bits are tucked away inside though, wind and bees can't help the way that they do with lots of other plants. Enter the fig wasp. For a dude fig plant to share its pollen with a lady fig plant, a female fig wasp needs to enter a male fig. She crawls through a narrow passage in the fig called the osteole. It's so cramped that her wings and antenna break off along the way. But the messed up thing here is that the lady fig wasp doesn't know whether she's entering a male capra fig or a female fig. If it is in fact a capra fig, she'll find its male flower parts perfectly shaped for her to lay her eggs into. The eggs hatch into larvae and grow within the fig's petals. The male wasps hatch first first and are born blind and flightless. They mate with their female counterparts, which yeah, I guess they are technically brothers and sisters. Wasps are basically all Targaryens, it's fine. And the male wasps will start eating and exit tunnel through the fig. Uh, they can't escape though, so they die inside. But the females collect the fig's pollen, crawl out of the tunnel that their brothers created, and fly away in search of a new fig plant to lay their own eggs in. But if a female wasp enters a female fig, she won't be able to lay her eggs because of this long part of the flower called the stylus. She'll probably die of loneliness and exhaustion, but at least she's delivered the pollen, yeah? And hey, good news for us, an enzyme inside the fig called ficin breaks down her corpse into protein, so it just ingests the dead wasp and makes it part of the delicious ripened fruit for us to eat. Just so we're clear, those crunchy bits you're chewing in figs are not bits of dead wasp or larva. They really are the fig's seeds. And anyway, you should probably get used to the idea of occasionally eating an insect by accident. The FDA considers certain amounts of insect content in various foods natural and unavoidable. And it's really not hazardous, just gross. But hey, if you're going to give up on figs after watching this video, we want to know why in our YouTube comments. And if you want to binge watch more weird science about animals, you can check out our playlist featuring info on dogs, cats, sharks, and bees uh, over here. Or you could subscribe to our channel so that you know every time we upload a new video.